Hi, I'm Sandrine Blade, Manager of Member Events and Experience here at AmitaCare. Thank you for joining us for today's online Live Your Life Wellness session. Today's session is sponsored by AmitaCare, a Medicaid health plan designed to provide care for those living with or at elevated risk of HIV. At AmitaCare, we believe that staying healthy is much more than just doctor's visits and medication. We believe in the whole person, mind, body, and spiritual wellness. We also look at aspects of life such as healthy food and housing. Stay tuned for more information on how you can contact us at AmitaCare. Thank you. Enjoy. Hey everyone, hope you're safe and strong in mind, body, and spirit. And happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. It's your girl, Kerry, nutritionist, coach, and healthy food enthusiast. Welcome to the second installment of Healthy Eating Made Simple. Now, the last time we were together, my husband Thomas told us about his typical breakfast. Scrambled eggs with cheese, toast with butter, home fries and sausage, a meal that contained a whopping 923 calories, 62.6 .6 grams of fat, and 830 milligrams of sodium. Today, I recreated this meal by replacing some of the high fat and salt ingredients with healthier ones. Let's see if he notices. Hey. Hey, Thomas. Happy Father's Day. Thank you. Thanks a lot. I made your favorite breakfast. You ready to eat? Yeah, I'm starving. Hey, wait, wait, wait. This is not my favorite breakfast. All right, my favorite breakfast is three scrambled eggs, two slices of cheese, either American cheese or cheddar cheese, uh, two big sausages, pork sausages, beef sausages, I don't care, and french fries with a lot of ketchup and two slices of bread soaked in butter. This is not that. No. Well, that's exactly what you have here. You have scrambled eggs with plant-based cheese, chicken sausage, root vegetable hash, and Ezekiel bread. I, I, I don't even know what that, I'm supposed to get excited about this Father's Day. I want to celebrate. Oh, come on, Tom. Give it a try. All right. Lord, please help me get through this. Please. I'll try, try the eggs first. Oh, good. I will. I will. Yeah, I want some eggs. Let me try this. Mm. Tastes good. But you can't fool me. That's not my American cheese or my cheddar cheese. Yeah, it's a plant-based cheese made from a company called Daya. It looks like cheese and it tastes like cheese, but it's made from plants. Wait a minute. Cheese made from plants. How is that even possible? Well, it's an alternative that resembles cheese in shape and consistency. This cheese is made... Let me get the label. This cheese is made with peas, coconuts, and water. One slice has 60 calories, 5 grams of fat, and no dairy. It looks like this. Now let's compare that to the cheese you usually get, the sharp cheddar cheese. Oh, this is good. I love this cheese. Cheddar cheese is no joke. All right, now one slice of sharp cheddar cheese has 110 calories, 9 grams of fat. Wait a minute. How much did that have? One slice of this has 60 calories and five grams of fat. And this has 110 calories and nine grams of fat. That's a huge difference. All right, plant-based cheese. But are the eggs at least real? Can I at least have real eggs? Oh, yeah, the eggs are real, but they're organic. Organic? What is that supposed to mean? That means that the chickens that they came from weren't raised with any pesticides or chemicals. So does that mean they have less cholesterol? Because my doctor recently told me I better get my cholesterol down. No, the cholesterol level is the same, but I could remove the yolk and make something like an egg white omelet and then you wouldn't have to worry about the cholesterol. Well, I could do that for you tomorrow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. Slow down. Tomorrow, let, let me see if I can get used to this first. What should I try next? Okay. Try the sausage. All right. Mmm. Yeah, now I gotta say, they're smaller than the ones I'm used to, but it tastes good. What are they made from? What are these sausages made from? These are made from chicken. This is the company. It's all natural, afresco, apple maple chicken sausage. 
This one, oh, you can read it for yourself. All right, let me see. Yeah, this has 50 calories, two grams of fat, 20 milligrams of cholesterol, and 150 milligrams of sodium. Uh, okay, that, what does that mean? Now, now, let's compare that to the sausage you usually have. All right, this, this one has 220 calories, 15 grams of fat, 85 milligrams of cholesterol, and 670 milligrams of sodium. What was, how much sodium was in that one? This one has 150 milligrams of sodium. Wow. Now I tell you, the, the, the one you gave me, it still has the flavor and the protein, but you're saying it has less fat, less calories, less cholesterol. That's what you're saying? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, well, then if it's going to taste this good, I can do it. What should I try next on this plate? Try the bread. Now, let me try some of this toast. What kind of bread is this? This is a good tasting bread. What kind of bread is this? That's Ezekiel bread. Ezekiel? Like the dude from the Bible? <laughs> yeah, he was in the Bible. This bread was inspired by a scripture verse in the Bible. I, I think it's on the label. Yeah, you can read. Like All right, so this, this is Ezekiel bread. Mm -hmm. And you're saying there's a scripture from the Bible on here somewhere? Yeah. Let me see. 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 Uh, where is it? All right. Ezekiel chapter 4, verse 9. Sprouted grain bread is inspired by the Holy Scripture verse that says, Take also unto thee wheat and barley and beans and lentils and millet and spelt and put them in one vessel and make bread of it. So that's from Ezekiel chapter. Now, who told him that? His wife? <laughs> no, God told him that. God. Oh, hold on now. <laughs> well, it tastes good. Is it healthier than regular bread? I mean, I miss my whole wheat bread. I love wheat bread. Well, the bread that you usually eat, it says 100% wheat, but manufacturers try to fool the consumers. This should really say 100% whole wheat. That's what you're looking for when you read the label. Because what this is, is really white bread with brown food coloring. So you have to be careful. So you're, so you're saying this is not even wheat, real wheat bread? No, it's not whole wheat. And that's what you need. Whole Did wheat. you say, I hear you say this is really white bread with brown dye to make it look like wheat, but it's not really wheat. Yes, that's what I said. And Ezekiel bread is taken literally from the Holy Bible? Yes. And this is a wow. sprouted grain bread. Yeah. So one's a lie and a fake and the other one's taken from the Bible. That's something to think about and it tastes good too. Yeah. And Ezekiel bread is flourless, low glycemic. That means it won't impact your blood sugar levels. And it's a complete protein. So, All right, so very good on. alternative. Oh, and it has to re remain refrigerated until you use it. So because there are no preservatives in it. Mm -hmm. The bread is good. The eggs were good. The sausage was great. But I like my french fries with a lot of ketchup and salt. So you trying to tell me that these hash browns. Yeah, root vegetable hash. Root vegetable hash. I'm supposed to, that's supposed to be better than french fries. Try Good it. old American french try fries. Try it and see. Some, yeah, Just try, try it and I'll see. I'll try it. Here's the hash browns. See that? Hold on now. No mm -hmm. lie, that might be the best thing on the plate. You don't even need any any salt. You don't need any uh, ketchup. Yeah. Wait a minute. What, what is this? What is this? Yeah, these are organic root vegetable hash browns. And they come frozen. And here, Tom, read the Did they fry these? Do they fry these? No, these aren't fried. Look and at there's no, no a bunch of oil and salt? No, I used a little oil in the pan, but there's it doesn't come with the oil already in it. So read the ingredients. Organic Yukon gold potatoes. Organic carrots, organic sweet potatoes. Wow. Yeah, that's it. Is that organic? And right it just here? has 60 calories. No fat, no trans fat, no cholesterol, and 20 milligrams of sodium. So it tastes that good and it has, it's more nutritious. So I can eat this meal for breakfast and it has less fat, less sugar, less salt. See, the key with a guy like me is it got to taste good. If you just tell me, well, it has less fat, less calories, less salt, that sounds good. But you got to taste good. This breakfast, this tastes good. Like, really, this tastes good. As a matter of fact, I'm going to finish this right now. But I got to wash this down. 
So I'm gonna get me a good old glass of American Coca-Cola. Baby steps. <laughs> 